Hello, this is Theophilus Cleft, and welcome to the Nazarene Cipher. Today we will be discussing John Mark, or Johannan Marcus, and this piece is found on the upper panel, the upper section, in the Ring of Disciples. If you look at the figure in the center, there's John Mark standing there. He's elegantly dressed, which suggests he came from a wealthy family. He's holding a quill in his left hand, as he was Simon Peter's personal assistant. And there, right behind him, standing behind him in the shadows, is indeed Simon Peter, who we believe gave him many of the insights uh, in the writing of his gospel. The cloak that you see flapping around there on the left-hand side is taken from uh, Mark 14, uh, when a man was seen, a young man was seen fleeing in terror from the Garden of Gethsemane, leaving his garment behind. The P icon up there on the right is uh, discussing the fact that him and Paul at one time were very close. They had a disagreement, they went their own ways, but by the end of their lives they came back together again and uh, had reconciliation. Looking at the frame, which represents the gospel itself of John Mark, you'll see up at the top the winged lion, which is the traditional symbol of Mark's gospel. As the gospel's focus is upon Christ as a powerful leader and royal, his royal character. The detail running down the right-hand side of the frame gives us the sense of looking at newsprint. This is because the gospel is written with a sense of urgency, kind of like a headline newspaper. The gospel is just lays out the facts without much embellishment and uh, doesn't bother with an overload of theology. It's extremely fast paced and focuses upon Christ's deeds rather than his teaching. And a great deal of emphasis is given to his miracles and as him being a man of action. The blood that you see flowing on the bottom and moving on its way up to the left uh, is because a third of the Gospel of Mark is dedicated to the Passion. On the upper left-hand side, you'll see the, the silver G, and that shows us that the Gospel was written with a Gentile audience in mind. Well, that's it for this panel. If you're interested in finding more about this panel or any other panel on the cipher, please go to www.thenazarenecipher.com. Until next time, thank you.